Hi, this is Mrs. Kidman, and in this video, we're going to be discussing the angle bisector theorem, the converse to the angle bisector theorem, and how we can use them to find different side or angle lengths of triangles. So the angle bisector theorem says if a point lies on the bisector of an angle, then it is equidistant from the two sides of the angle. So the bisector of an angle is a line that divides an angle exactly in half on both sides. So if it's exactly in half on both sides, then that means that a point that's on that line is going to be equidistant from the two sides of the angle. The reason why is it kind of creates these triangles that you can see here. We've got this triangle here, this triangle here, and between those two triangles, we can get that angle in there. So that's a pretty cool thing. Let's take a look at the converse. So the converse of the angle bisector theorem says if a point is in the interior of an angle and it's equidistant from two sides of the angle, then it lies on the bisector of the angle. So what this one is really saying is if this point is equidistant from the sides, then it's on the angle bisector. The other one says if it's on the angle bisector, it will be equidistant. So let's use these two bisector theorems to then explore how we can apply these and see how they help us with triangles. So we want to find the measure using the diagram below. So let's take a look at this first one here. We want to find the measure of angle GFJ. So that's this angle measurement right here. Well, this is going to use the converse of the angle bisector theorem. The reason why, sector theorem, the reason why is because you can see we don't know anything about those angles, but we do know about the distance. The converse to the angle bisector theorem says that if this distance and this distance are the same, then this line that it's on is the angle bisector. So if that's the angle bisector, then the measure of angle GFJ is going to be 42 degrees by that converse angle bisector theorem. Now this one here, is using, they're asking us about finding this measurement of RS. And we know that these two angles are congruent. Now, because we know those two angles there are congruent, what that means is that we are going to use the angle bisector theorem, which says that any point along that angle bisector will be equidistant from the two sides. So if these two sides are equidistant, that means that they're congruent or equal. I can set them equal to each other and then use that to solve for x, and then substitute x back in to figure out what that rs length is. So let's use this to solve for x. I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides and get negative x equals negative 5, divide both sides by negative 1 and get x equals 5. So then I'm going to put that x equals 5 in here, and so I get 6 times 5 minus 5. That'll give us rs, and that's 30 minus 5, or 25. So this length here is 25. By that angle bisector theorem, that also means that this side is 25 as well. So that's kind of how we apply it. Now let's take a look at this next one here. This one uses that angle bisector theorem depending on whether it's the converse or the regular one based on the information that we're given. So let's look at this first example here. BD bisects angle ABC. Okay, so ABC, BD bisects. So that means these two things are equal. Because those two things are equal, that means that we can use that angle bisector theorem to figure out what the other sides are. They also tell us that DC here is 6.9. Well, by the angle bisector theorem, that says that if this side is 6.9, this side also has to be the same thing. So that means that DA also equals 6.9. Awesome. Okay, now let's look at this second one here. Oh, get rid of this stuff. Okay, so BD bisects angle ABC again. Fantastic. So this is number two. So here we are. They bisect it. AD, so this piece right here, is 3z plus 7, and cd, this piece right here, is 2z plus 11. And we want to figure out what this length is. Well, again, by that angle bisector theorem, we know that this length and this length are going to be equal. So I can set 3z plus 7 equal to 2z plus 11. And I can just solve for z there. So I'm going to subtract 2z from both sides and get z plus 7 equals 11, and then subtract 7 from both sides and get z equals 4. Now, I want to figure out what this length cd is, so I'm going to plug that 4 back in. So 2 times 4 plus 11, well, that's 8 plus 11, which equals 19. So cd equals 19. Awesome. Okay, now this last one. Oh. Let's take a look at it here. So on this one, what we're going to do is, let me find that eraser. So on this next one, what we're looking at is we want to know 
what the measurement of angle ABC is. If AD is 3.2, CD is 3.2, and DBC is 39. Let's go ahead and label those points here for us. So I'm going to use the color green this time. So this is our last example, number three. So we want to figure out what this big angle is when this piece here is 3.2. This piece here is 3.2. And this angle, so DBC, is 39 degrees. Well, this one is going to use the converse to the angle bisector theorem. Because what we are given is that these two things are equidistant away. And remember that converse to the angle bisector theorem says if there's a point inside and it's equidistant away, then it's on the bisector of the angle. So if it's on that bisector of the angle, then that means that angle ABD is going to be the same as angle CBD. And so this one is also 39 degrees. So then our whole angle here, or the measure of angle ABC, is going to equal 39 plus 39, which is going to be 78 degrees. Okay, so that is how we would use the angle bisector theorem and the converse to the angle bisector theorem to find either side lengths or angles of these different things. So please check out the next video in which we prove why the angle bisector theorem actually works. And it's going to be very similar to why the perpendicular bisector theorem works, so it's pretty awesome. If you don't know about the perpendicular bisector, please check out the video on the perpendicular bisector and its converse that was recorded previously. If you have any questions, please let me know.